Keane, congratulations. Another trophy to the cabinet, winning the JDC Riley's Club under-16s and a great performance on another big stage. Yeah, it was, it was brilliant. It was an amazing feeling to play, play on a big stage again. And uh, it, I think it was a great game. Luke played really well, but just put in the, the big scores at the right time and thankfully he got the win. It's been some roller coaster for you the last six months, hasn't it? And what's it like getting this big stage experience? Oh, it's massive. It's massive. So it is good, especially getting into the even floor events. Like you know you're playing well, and if you can play well on stage, just just you know you can bring it to the. If you can bring it from on, from the floor onto the stage, like you know where your game is. So I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing really well, and I'm, it's it's really helping with the with the experience of it all. Have you had time to reflect yet that you're a double world champion as well. Yeah, it's kind of uh, not really now, but it, it's amazing. Like it, it's, I was saying to my dad there, all I ever wanted to be was a world champion, and for it to happen twice in the space of three weeks, it, it, it's amazing. It, it's an amazing feeling, and it, it, it's all down to the kind of dedication and hard work. Do you feel you're the number one youth player in the world right now across all platforms, with not just the titles you're winning, but the performances you're putting in as well? Well, uh, I, I think I'm playing well enough to uh, I'm playing well enough to think to uh, like maybe it would be like, but I, I just go up there and show my darts. I don't look into any of that. Now. I just go up there and show my darts and enjoy myself, and that's that's all I do. Like, can I touch on key school? Didn't go according to plan, but did you enjoy the whole experience? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, like I, I didn't play too bad. Just the last day fell at the kind of the last hurdle, but it, it's it's all the experience to take on board. And next year, next year then I'll know what it's all about. What was it like that last game, knowing that it was all on the line and just to fall that little bit short? Was that tough to take? Well, it, it was tough to take, but then it's, I, I looked on the kind of the brighter side. I'm representing my country in the Six Nations and the Europe Cup, and I still have development tour and challenge tour, so I still have a lot of things to look forward to. And it, it's all it's all going in a good way. In an ideal world, I'm guessing you'd like to get your tour card secured from one of the other means, like you say, development tour, challenge tour, so you don't have to go back to Q School next year. Yeah, definitely. Q, Q School is a tough, tough place. It's a lot harder than I expected it to be. Like, it, there, there's people there you wouldn't even know, and they throw amazing darts like it. So it, it, just, it just shows you where the standard is. It, it's, it's gone through the roof at the minute. But the ho hopefully, I mean, to carry through uh, challenge tour, development tour would be ideal. Like you say, it is one of the toughest environments to play darts, isn't it? Because the, all, all the unknowns. What was your one overriding thing that you learned from Q School looking back? The, 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 the real long days, and you have to be really prepared for, for everyone who goes up against you. Like Because you, you can be going so good, you think you're playing really well, and then you just some, some fella just stands up in front of you, you don't even know who he is, and he just throws amazing darts. So you have to be kind of ready for everyone in front of you, and don't be kind of... Uh, Kind of surprised by who, who comes up against you. That was, that was, I think, was my biggest kind of downfall in the first two days. Just, lads, a few lads just surprised me, and I wasn't, wasn't ready for it. With the year you had, did you have an outside hope you might have got the nod for the challenges place in the at Dublin this year? Yeah, there's, there's a few people, a few people were saying it to me, and even I think Wayne Mardle pick uh, had his pick with me. Like, but I, I think there's loads of time. Will, Willie really deserves it. Willie, Willie had an amazing year last year, but hopefully, maybe even next year I could get it. Who knows? But I'm just gonna continue putting in the same effort, and hopefully, it all pays off. Looking ahead to this year as well. Have you set yourself any mini goals for the first half of the year? I just want to be uh, maybe in, uh, the challenge short didn't go to well, didn't go too well the first weekend, but maybe get get high enough in the ranking so maybe you can get into a few pro tours through the challenge short. That'd be kind of the, the plan for the kind of the, the start of the year. But hopefully, just have the, maybe the same success for the for the rest of the year as I did last year. And I'm guessing as well the overriding goal was to make sure you're back at Ali Pali because you lit up that stage even in defeat that you played some sensational stuff against Vincent. Yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a dream again. Hopefully, like uh, I'm gonna put in the, the Irish qualifiers for me again, and hopefully it goes well, goes as well as last year because it was amazing to be up there playing, playing on that stage. It was absolutely amazing. Keen, unbelievable. Well done, mate, and thank you very much for taking time out with us. No, thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you.